Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So before I get into the review, I just quickly wanted to address a lot of the comments I've been receiving. I'm sure a lot of you are very surprised that I am in possession of an iPhone. I know I am. I just posted an unboxing slash review on my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4. So naturally I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking what made me switch, etc. And obviously I don't feel like I owe anyone any kind of explanation for making the switch, but I do think it would be interesting and fun for me to talk about it. So I'm going to make a separate video on that. But today we are just going to be focusing on the 13 Pro Max itself. So I purchased the 13 Pro Max in Graphite Unlocked directly from Apple for $1,100 before tax. The first thing I obviously wanna discuss is the design. Expected it to be super cumbersome and everything, but it is definitely the better size for me. I really am glad that I went with this one. I was also worried because the 13 models are, I believe like 15 or so grams heavier than last year's model, but I haven't had a problem with that at all. I never find it uncomfortable to hold or have it in my pocket. And it has a 6.7 inch display that is absolutely beautiful. And it has the 120 Hertz refresh rate. So on top of the display, the camera was obviously a huge selling point for me. As someone who does a lot of content creation, loves photography and videography, all of the new features that the phone comes with with the camera really stood out to me. We have the new cinematic mode and it looks extremely professional and I'm very, very impressed by it. As someone who typically uses a DSLR, The slow motion mode looks amazing because it has the 60 hertz camera, so everything looks buttery smooth and very professional. And the macro lens is absolutely amazing. I think it is so cool how you can see the phone automatically shift to the macro lens when you move it close to the subject. And the detail that it captures is absolutely insane. Along with that, I really like all of the new photo and video editing features and filters and effects that are built into the camera app itself. Another major thing that I've noticed with this phone is the battery. It has a 4,352 milliamp battery and I can get through an entire day and use only like half of my battery. And I'm someone who uses my phone a lot with a lot of Bluetooth accessories and stuff like that as well. I feel like the average person can charge this phone probably once every two days. So overall, my experience with this phone so far has been incredible, and I actually don't have a single complaint. If I could change one thing, the only thing I would do is make it type C instead of lightning, but hopefully next year, I think that's something Apple will change. Not that it's a big deal, it's just the only thing that I could possibly think of me complaining about if I had to complain about something. <laughs> But yeah, if you look into the way this phone was constructed and all the attention of detail and design aspects, both inside and out, hardware and software, I think it's really amazing and impressive and I plan on keeping it for as long as I possibly can. And then we're just gonna go over some accessories that I bought for it, just because why not? I bought two OtterBox Symmetry cases. I'll link all of these down below, by the way. But this first one is like an ombre clear black one. 
And the second one is a slate blue purpley one with MagSafe. Yeah, you get kind of, yeah, you get kind of used to it. It's, uh, it's like getting good at searching. And then I got two Insignia ones, which are Best Buy's own brand. I got a clear case, which is really nice. It has raised edges, so the phone lays completely flat since it does have such a large camera, which is really nice. I always feel like a clear case is essential. And then I got this matte gray one that is sort of transparent, and I really like the way this one looks as well. But I have mostly been using the purple MagSafe case, as well as I purchased the MagSafe charger itself. And I think it's really awesome. It does charge the phone a little bit slower, but sometimes that is a good thing if I just want to let it sit down and charge for a little bit. And the first thing to typically go for me on a phone is the charging port. So I do want to keep this phone for as long as possible and I am as gentle as I can be with it. But if I can avoid charging through the actual port sometimes, then I would like to do so. And I think it is really cool that you can buy different MagSafe accessories like the car mount and the wallet and all of that, the charging brick. And I just love the way that this case complements the color of the phone. So yeah, overall, I am obsessed with this phone, especially with all of my other Apple products. Let me know what you guys think of the phone. Let me know if you were considering getting it or if you have it, what you think of it. And stay tuned for my whole separate dedicated video as to why I completely switched to all Apple products. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.